Well, I hope you didn't forget about our IK bones that we created in the previous step that didn't work because we're going to go back and make that work again. So first of all, let's just clear everything to a sane position. No more twisting. And let's turn on the layer that had those special bones. Well, let's have a look and see what we can do. So if you want our stretching to work, instead of having the same IK constraints but without stretching on these bones, we'd like to kill the IK part of things and have these bones just automatically stretch to where these bones are without getting wider. In fact, we'd like them to get thinner as the leg got stretched longer. And there's a pretty obvious constraint to use for this situation, and that is the uh, stretch to um, constraint. And so instead of having the IKs enabled here, we're going to kill the IK solver. Pink. And then we're going to have to hook up our geometry to these new IK bones over here. So, if you think about it, the the um, the thigh has to stretch to this point, and then the calf would have to stretch to that point. So that seems easy. It seems like a question of taking this, taking this, doing Control Alt C, and doing a stretch to, and then doing the same with this, but to the target over here. Now the reason this doesn't look right is because it's defaulted the default length of the bones when we applied the constraint. So what we have to do actually is clear any transformation and then reset the length of the bone by clicking on this little R here for the rest length and then reset this one like so now grab it and stretch it and it's sort of working but not quite yet and we have to figure out why that's happening like this so it looks like that the um, upper leg is is more or less behaving but then the, the uh, calf is stretching even more. And the reason for that is quite simple. The calf is the child of the thigh. And so when the thigh stretches, the calf inherits that size. And then it adds its own stretch on top of it, which makes it become um, even longer than it's supposed to be. And we have this weird split where the, the calf is sort of pushing the heel further along than it should. So we need to fix that problem right now by getting things more or less aligned in place and the way we're going to do that is we're going to destroy the parent-child relationship um, of the um, of the thigh and calf and then re-hook up the calf with a constraint to sort of sit at the bottom of the thigh and that way our calf will no longer get stretched um, extra every time the thigh stretches. So we're going to go into edit mode here and what we'll do is We'll create a new bone that kind of sits at this point here and we'll use it to be the parent of the of the calf bone, the new parent of the calf bone. And um, so I'll simply snap the cursor to the selection here, like so, and I'll add a bone, like so and I'll make its uh, its parent be this low back uh, geo bone here, the, the same as the thigh. 
control P, keep offset. And I think I want to keep its alignment more or less with the thigh, and I'll show you why that is in a bit. For now, we'll just do it inaccurately, but okay, I'll do it later on actually. So, go back into our pose mode, and let's make that bone um, sort of hang out here, right at this position here with constraints. And the way we'll do that is by a copy lock followed by a copy rot. We'll select this um, we'll we'll select this calf and we'll give it a copy lock there right there. So control alt C copy location and it didn't disappear, it's it sitting inside here. There it is and I can actually make it super thick. Actually if I go into um, bounding box center things are a little bit more reasonable here. I'll make it super thick temporarily so we can see it. Now if our calf was a child of this bone it would automatically be at the right place and it wouldn't inherit the the um, the, the uh, scale from its uh, its parents so because this bone isn't scaling. So we just Select this bone and select this new bone. Control P, keep offset, tab, and whoa, it's behaving all of a sudden. So we have a stretchy calf, and if I go back to this layer, I think I can just turn on this layer here you'll see that the legs aren't are no longer getting thicker as the thing is stretching so we've kind of accomplished a goal there which is cool but we haven't done everything we want to do yet for instance if I go up here you'll notice that I don't have a way of making the leg fatten rather than bend if I wanted to. So that's kind of a problem. And um, I've broken the uh, bendy bone feature in the thigh by making the calf not a child of the thigh anymore. So I have to have some way of fixing that. So let's look at having a control in the middle first. And I can do that by separating, if I had some control, to separate the calf location away from where the uh, B bone is pointing it, and then make the knee stretch to that new location, then I can have sort of a little control floating around that allows me to do that. So let's add this control. If you go back into edit mode, and let's make a little child of this bone. And that child, and we'll just duplicate it, snap the cursor to selection, hit dot and scale it down a little bit, and maybe hit Alt S. There we go. So now we can see it independently of the other one and that child I will call knee stretch since that's what we're going to do with it dot L and I'll call its parent knee parent dot, dot, dot L just so that we don't lose track of it and now we'll have to make everything work with that bone. So first of all we'll take the, the, the calf bone and make it a child of this one, like so. And we'll make the thigh stretch to this one, like so. Just maybe by changing the target of this 
from calf IK to me stretch dot L. Now let's Okay, everything's in place and make sure our rest positions are calculated here. Now if I move this around, oh wait a second, I didn't make that a child of that bone yet, apologize for that, so I make this the child of this, and now so move everything around, everything works. However, if I go ahead and grab this new bone and move it, I can control the knee independently. So let's see a cool thing we can do with that. So if I bend it here, grab this bone, move it, I can cause our, our leg to fatten instead of bend at this position. So if you want to squash Mancanio's legs, um, let's say if you put him in a, in a vise or something like that and you wanted to squish him, then we can do that now and have his legs squash instead of bending. And so we have a nice little new control that we can have over the length, over the uh, bend of the leg. And let's uh, add some niceties into our setup now. For instance, I mentioned that I had broken previously the the bendy feature of the um, of the uh, thigh. We can go ahead and fix that again because we can use that new bone to um, to uh, fix the uh, to create a target for a rotation so that the um, the uh, thigh can twist based on that new target, which I'll demonstrate in a moment.